I thought I would try demonstrating C4FM beaconing mainly because I've searched on YouTube and I couldn't find an English video explaining how to set it up. The Facebook group I'm a member of that I mentioned in the last video does have written instructions but only that written instructions. So I'm using my FT991 here I believe the procedure is the same for the more recent 991 Alpha. However, I'm not an expert on this, so if anything I say isn't quite right, or if there's anything that you can add that other people might find helpful, then please do feel free to add it into the comments below. So the frequency worldwide where the action is is 29.250 in the 10 meter band. At the moment I'm just in FM mode. And I have got something locally to me that's causing a little bit of interference on that frequency. But luckily enough nothing major enough to cause a problem. So the first thing you do is press and hold the menu button which will bring up the options along the bottom. So press my call and input your call sign. It gives you enough extra letters that you can put um, your name if your name is short or an abbreviation of your name. Now this refers purely to C4FM. There are other menus where you can enter your call sign um, which I've also done, but this is the one that dictates what will be transmitted out when you beacon using C4FM. So I've done mine already, Mike Zero, Mike November Golf Dash Ed, which is the short version of my name. I'm now going to click on back and I'm now going to press lat stroke long. Um, you only need to do this if you don't have an external uh, GPS antenna connected into your radio, which I don't. Now, as you can see, I've already entered my latitude and longitude in there. You press the lat and lon button in turn to put it in. I got my coordinates from Google Maps. Now, if you get your coordinates and you try putting them in and the radio won't accept them, then double check both your latitude and longitude. I found out after a bit of head scratching that the radio wouldn't let me input my longitude because the latitude that I'd got hold of was wrong. So once you've got that information in there, we can come back out again. Now the beacon will only transmit if the squelch is turned up. Not sure about receive, but certainly transmit it won't. So if I were to try to transmit with the radio like this, then nothing would happen. So. If I come out of that menu by pressing menu, I will now click on squelch down here. And turn it up high enough to squelch the radio. Um, now as you can possibly see or hear, whatever that local interference is, is just enough to break the squelch. Having it like that is not enough to stop the radio transmitting, so I'm going to leave it like that. Last thing to do to set is the power. Even though the beacons are brief, lasting less than one second, during that one second they are at 100% duty cycle and that will draw roughly 10 amps at 13.8 volts according to the ammeter on my power supply unit so the radio will get warm um, I would not recommend this at running this at 100 watts because as I say even though 
the transmissions last about a second and even though the radio will only transmit once every 15 seconds approximately while the transmission is happening it is a 100% duty cycle so 25-30 watts somewhere around there is probably enough if there is a propagation path at all on 10 meters then uh, the amount there 25 watts is probably more than enough so once you're set up and ready to go and you've got an antenna plugged in I'm using a T2LT NFED uh, coaxial dipole if we move along the menus what we are interested in is that one there GM golf mic so I will press golf mic oh and the other thing is you need to make sure you're in C4 FM mode first so um, if I click on mode you want to be C4 FM like that okay so now if I go back where I was and press this it should start by transmitting which it did so every 15 seconds or so up here you'll see the little red transmit light come on now as far as I know it is not possible to alter that 15 second gap yes in one of the menus there is an option about beaconing interval that relates to CW I think it doesn't have anything to do with C4 FM and um, if I come over here to my FT817 that's what it sounds like receiving that squelched in narrow FM so the idea is that you don't leave this unattended I'll turn that down you don't leave this unattended and if your radio receives somebody else who's beaconing their call sign will appear in this gap here or maybe several call signs will appear and you then pick up your mic and give them a call now if propagation is not wide open and only one person's call sign appears occasionally I gather it's okay to actually have a brief QSO in C4 FM on 29.250 if the band is wide open and you are getting multiple um, people's call signs appear and if they've set their radio up correctly and if you set yours up correctly as well as their call sign it will tell you how far away they are uh, which is quite a, a, a nice little feature to have as well um, if there's lots of people then I would suggest that you QSY either up or down the band in the UK you would probably do better to go downwards because if you go upwards when you get to 29.270 somewhere like that um, you could be causing QRM to simplex gateways and this beaconing isn't time sensitive as whisper is for example or FT8 so you can set this off at any time um, it doesn't have to be on a minute or on any particular second at all um, whenever you press the button <laughs> you're good to go coming next is a contact I had last weekend now you'll see that it says that the person I'm talking to is 43 miles away in reality they're probably about four miles away but at that point I had set up my longitude and latitude incorrectly um, which meant the distance was wrong if you're working a, a 10 meter sporadic E or F2 opening the odd uh, few miles or tens of miles even here or there is not going to make a great deal of difference but uh, for local contacts if you want to know exactly how far away they are it could make a bit of a difference so coming next is uh, a QSO in C4 FM off the back of a, a beacon that was received uh, with Ian Mike Zero Foxtrot Romeo Hotel perfect audio from you in C4 FM running 25 watts at this end but I don't think you're too far away um, my coordinates as programmed into the radio aren't quite correct but I couldn't get it to accept the um, proper 
coordinates to my location so it's saying you're 44 miles away but I know you're not a cl lot closer than that aren't you over? From the hotel yeah only, only a little hand uh, yeah, yeah. I think when I saw 47 miles come up but uh, yes yeah a little hand and there is uh, microphone back to you from my zero box from the hotel